Hey guys, Jimbo here, carrying on with and for today. So in the last episode, we kind of were making our way through this incomplete system. Um, there's different controls and things we can use, but there's no water, so there's nothing to divert. And we've been presented with this corridor. Uh, what have we ahead of us, I wonder? Oh, it's quite a long corridor. Hopefully we can actually make it back to the office. Oh, okay, just straight to a loading screen, I should have known. Maybe I should have started there. Office? We heading to the office one year? We can ever get out? I don't get why there's so many freaking fire exits and all of them are locked. How the hell are you ever supposed to escape this place? Also I see this ladder's broken. No, apparently this broken ladder is fine. Oh, is it because I can jump to it? It's not technically a problem. Come on. I've got some electrics. This one... No, I was going to say, it looks like something I can use maybe with a lever, but not this time. So I don't know why I'd want to turn the power off. Oh, okay, we're dealing with fuses again, are we? Oh, this box is actually something I could move, but I can just jump for it, as I've just proved. Okay, that's fine. I can move the box anyway. No, okay. Uh, what does the red light mean? I don't know. What further underground than I thought it was? There's another red light there. God, now what are we getting ourselves into? I... <sighs> Should I be taking the fuse with me? Probably. Don't see anywhere I can use it down here. Okay, up we go. I mean, it's not exactly... Why did you drop that? I didn't tell you to drop that. It's not exactly pocket sized, is it? Um, okay. There's not actually a lot to look at there. Uh, ventilation D3 and exit are up ahead. Power control, your balls is that below us. And B1, bloody, 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 blah. It's this way. Double check there's nothing here, although of course there is, and there's even a switch. Door. That whole thing is just for this door, really. Why do I want to go through here? I don't know. Let's have a look the other way first and see what there actually is. As if this is a dead end, it would be nice to know right now. It is indeed a dead end. Well, except for the broken ladder, everything here seems reasonably intact, but I guess while the system isn't even really running, it doesn't matter. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Yeah, it does. And you need them as well because these D cells do not last more than 30 seconds. Madness. Uh. The hell is this? It's like a conveyor belt for coal. Why is that there? Okay, this looks like the wrong direction, so let's go this way first. Guess it comes through there. Sounds like machinery somewhere is still running. Though this conveyor belt isn't. No? That makes ten packs of camera batteries. You have some bricks if I need to smash anything. I don't think that's going to help me here, though. Could definitely smash the. Whoops! Could definitely smash the handle off with those, really. Structurally, though, this looks kind of okay. So, what was that whole location just to get some batteries? Suppose it wouldn't be the first time. Okay, the walls here are discoloured, but not actually bad. 
Oh god, okay. Okay, so I can look, but I can't go. How dangerous is this? I mean, if it, is this thing just going to turn on and put us through a terrible, terrible processing machine? It's all red, it's all off, but how long for? Okay, well, luckily I'm in more human-friendly areas. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. What the hell is this place? Am I in a mine now or something? How did I get here? Why is it all connected? Oh, okay, I can go up. Let's. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Oops. So that's the side I came from, I think. What's... Oh, the other side doesn't even have an entrance. Just that side. Oh, it's going to shake my head loose working on those. Uh, okay, structure in here is dirty, but not particularly bad. I mean, surely we're well past our remit going into private enterprise tunnels and stuff. I don't know. Exactly how far does our inspection go and what does it cover? I suppose technically if this is below the city and the city's resting on parts of I'm it. Pretty sure it's not meant to be like that. Indeed not. If the city's resting on parts of it like the structures and their foundations are sitting on something that could collapse, I guess the public would need to know. Double check there's nothing I need to take a picture of. No valve there, is that okay? Just checking, I don't think I really saw anything worth taking a picture of though. No, it's messy but it's not dangerous. Well, beyond a normal mine that is. I meant to do that one. A lift shaft or just access? Oh, we got the red lights coming back. That's always good. I suppose I could maybe vault over there if I needed to. At this point, though, I'd just like to get to the surface, please. Is there really nothing to take a picture of? No. Good lord, it actually opens. Odd, that door is flickering. What's that? Oh, just a funny texture. I have like a ton of these things already. <sighs> Give me a lot of options here. Like a freezer or something? I guess not. I still have nine packs of batteries left. That makes ten packs of camera batteries. Right, I can now hear machinery. Again, nothing is manned though. Oh, this looks a bit more, it's not modern, but it looks in good nick. Pillar drill and a massive lathe. Some canisters, I presume, for welding. I already hear warning sounds. Uh, let's go up first. Looks like it might just be a little office. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my god, what is this? 
Low frequency alarm. Generator. That's the megawatts that's producing the RPM. Sink. Oh, okay, that, that one isn't doing very well, is it? Why is no one here if it's that important? Generator 2 is going loopy. Oh my god, okay. Um, okay, I might need that key card. Hello? Finally, dude. I've been waiting for you like... There's a person. Wait, you're not Irvin. Who is this? Mark. I was just... Mark! This is Robin. We have a very bad situation here. There have been some power cuts in the city. Including this power plant? Well, uh, not really. I was just doing some maintenance work here and, uh... And you need my help. Exactly. I... Well, you need to start up the second generator. How am I supposed to do that? Easy. You just need to close... Oh, wait. No. Open the valves and pull the lever. Is this Robin like we've heard? The one that always gets shit wrong? So does that mean we need to close the valve and pull the lever because Robin said to open them? Because this guy's been freaking clueless from like the first second. Looks like HV Dam is online, makes our job here a little easier. Yeah, I did indeed fix that. Can't take a picture of it. So this guy's at, I thought he was I thought this was in the past. He's actually alive and working now. Yeah, 2016, everything normal. Normal. This is getting boring, man. Still nothing to report. I miss the Bergman tunnels. Irvin, remind me to tell you about my last job. Not everything is in order. Uh, come on, Robin, take this log seriously. Robin broke the generator hall door. Generator 2 could probably use some maintenance. Everything's a mess. Robin broke everything. I almost died there, says Irvin. Robin says some guys come here to fix things. I told them about the common prop or the communication problems. Some minor issues, Irvin fixed them, everything okay, normal, where are you Irvin, normal day, Irvin haven't seen you for a few days, yesterday was normal, and then Irvin comes in, had to fix some things, the steam feed was almost broken, Robin please fix that door, they're, just, they're only talking through the log, sorry man I'll fix it soon, promise, there's a hole in my boot, need to fix it, <laughs> Robin can you stop writing useless stuff here? normal wow so Ro robin is absolutely clueless this ship breaking left right and center and he's mostly oblivious to it okay so the boiler feeds into the generator i wonder what the, what's the difference between the yellow line and the red line i don't know both red and yellow come out of each boiler and then return line, I presume that's when the generator is finished with it, it then goes around through the condenser to go from steam back to water and then to be boiled again. Grid frequency under 49 Hz may damage generators, so they're currently running too slowly and it's very close to being damaged. Boiler 2 is not working though. Okay, well that can't be good. Thought I was taking a picture. Am I taking a picture of Generator 1? Which one's working? Generator 1 seems to be working. Generator 2 is the one acting up. So why did I take a picture of something over here? That can't be good. I guess that's just a readout. That's not actually the cause of anything. Okay. Let's just double check downstairs and see what else we've got going. I'm, I'm really shocked that this Robin guy is actually alive and around. He's the first person I've heard that's even anywhere working on this stuff. Oh, okay, I would have needed to go up and get that keycard anyway. We've got a wheel here I might need. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Just leave it there until I know where it's coming from. Oh, okay, hang on, what's its steam feed at? Zero. Surely it needs some steam to work. I'll go have a look at generator one before I change it. Now, open all the valves so we can activate the second burners. What about synchronizing? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, speed up the generator to 4,000 RPM and then pull the switch. 
was that 3,000 RP? Holy God. You got just under 120 bar of pressure on this one. Why is there two feeds? Same here. Oh no, other way, other way, other way, other way. Nope, just under 120 bar. Yep, like that. Oh, but hang on, the, the steam isn't actually coming, is it? Am I stealing steam from the other one so it won't be up to speed? I don't know. Yep. Is this one exactly 120 or...? Yeah, exactly 120, not just under. It's roughly 120, it might be slightly under still. It's just, it moves so quickly it's hard to... Oh, it's, it just maximises that. It maximises that that I thought I was having to be careful. Oh, that can't be good. I can't. Am I... Was that leaking before I turned these up? I don't know. What's this one at? It's red. Is that good? I don't know. I mean, technically, this one's working, so... It seems like all the lights are red. So that doesn't really mean anything. Damn it, I wish I'd listened closer. So this one's at nearly 3,000 RPM, so when Robin said 4, he was incorrect. I mean 3,000. Oh, great. No, we ain't taking a picture of broken catwalks this time. Where the flaming hell do I need to go? Is this door here where I need to go? Where's the steam room? Where are the boilers? Hang on, I haven't been up here. Where's this? Really? Active power plant don't give an absolute damn about there being broken catwalks. Okay. Okay, that's not even accessible. Do have a crane system up here for some reason. Don't think I can winch myself across though. Can't see if the doors there can be opened or not. <sighs> Do I have to turn this down so I can then turn that other one off? I think it's still leaking. Yes, it is. If I turn these off and it's still leaking, I don't understand because if this is the feed where the water's coming in, or the steam even, then, um. Surely if there's nothing coming in, there's nothing coming out. Yes! Let's actually save before I turn this back on in case I break it. I don't want to increase the pressure inside the machine and then have no way of it venting. Suddenly very loud. Am I going to blow it up?
I don't get it. If the if the pressure's full on this one, why does it generate 3,000 RPM and this one goes up to like 5 and goes mental? Yeah, let's turn this all the way down. Turn the valve the other way and see if that fixes it. God. That sound effect was so loud. So what is it leaking here because this valve was too closed? Don't know. getting a little confused but what is it now too open and I'm venting all the steam before I can spin the turbine up let's like stop there like part the way At 1,200. It's going to be a bit hit, hit and miss this because I can't. Thousand. What's max? 2,400. Shit. So I, I closed that valve just a little bit too much. It wouldn't be such a pain if it wasn't leaking, because then I could stand there and adjust it. But instead I have to keep emptying the entire system. So, <laughs> with that really loud old out of place sound effect. Okay, turn up just a little bit. Put up to maybe a hundred and see what happens there. It's roughly a hundred. Oh no, idiot! I'm I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm opening it too much. I'm venting too much pressure. <sighs> so I'm making it too slow. I should have turned it a little more the other way. Closed it a little more. Cue loud sound effect. Even though there was no sound at all before that. I think that's more closed than it was. Just wish this indicator was just slightly more. 1600, that's good. Roughly half of 3000. Two thousand six hundred. Two thousand eight hundred. Ooh, three thousand, just a little too high. Two nine forty seven, forty four. That's pretty close. Does it have to be exact to the RPM? I mean, they keep flickering, so that would be bloody hard. Generators are on the grid now. Now, fully open all the valves and activate the boiler lever. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Now maybe Robin knows what he's talking about, but he hasn't generally up till now.
fully open all the valves. Uh, the RPM hasn't climbed up. Oops, wrong floor. Um. I mean, surely it doesn't mean the one down there, because that one's leaking steam all over the place. That one's already fully open. That one's already fully open. That one can't be moved and this one's going to burn the shit out of me if I try and touch it. A second. I don't know, I don't think I could turn it anymore, but maybe I really have to. Yeah, why is that one only waking 26.4 megawatts? Okay, this will turn it the wrong way. Okay. Turned it a little bit and got injured. Then it'll go the wrong way. But I don't want to kind of fiddle with the setup. So I feel like this is the only way I can do this. Oh, I turned it more. Oh, just a little bit too much. I got greedy. <laughs> I got greedy. Let's see, which way am I going to turn it if I touch it now? The right way. Typical. come out of here with third degree burns. take roughly three hits there before everything goes bad. It's not very much, is it? Sounds like it switched it off. Did I turn it the wrong way? I think that's fully opened. Well, it's fully the other way anyway.
Right, I think I need to desynchronize it so I can change the settings. So it doesn't pull things off the grid prop in the way I don't want. What are we at now? We're at l okay, we're okay. Let's turn the pressure down. Because it's going to increase when I start opening this valve. Wrong way. I could just turn them both off. <laughs> I could have just done that. I'm being picky. Just turn them off. Get the really loud sound effect. Just crank this all the way I want it to go. I was practically there anyway. Ah. Uh, get this thing running far too fast. What are we at with just one side? We're at nearly the 3000 I want. Just really crank it up. Hope it can take the pressure. Though I'm not going beyond the 120. It's fast, but it doesn't sound crazy dangerous. Cool, got an achievement too. Frequency 49.8. Mark, uh, you're wearing a hard hat, right? Yeah, why? What? I might have made a tiny mistake. <laughs> what did you do? Achievement unlocks to be continued and working overtime. So, okay, okay, Robin has struck again with his before now unseen incompetence we've just seen the aftermath. And I guess he's caught us out this time. Wow, how the hell did he manage to electrify the floor? Uh, Eric. Who the hell is Eric? I mean, uh, Mark. Oh, I can see fire. You okay? Mark. I almost died in here. What the hell did you do? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, I messed up. You have to get out of there. I'm trying. Holy God. What a stupid system. You can only get out through a door that has a lock on it. Oh really, hang on. The only window that's broken is the one that leads straight to where the fire is. Are you kidding me? Don't even know what I took a picture of there. Well that looks safe. Yep, there's burning fuel and electrification and the whole place is now flooded because I imagine the st Oh yeah, that generator's had it. Yeah, I can't take a picture of anything. So I'm guessing we were not supposed to do that. Great, and we already know the fire exit over there is... <laughs> it's unreachable because... Oh god, look at that, it's got even worse now. So was it the instructions he gave me were wrong, or was it... Or was it something else that happened somewhere else? It seems like I just overpressured the lock. I'm starting to think I should have done exactly the opposite of what he said. Graham, well I can't get through there because it's leaking steam. I can't get through here because it's on freaking fire. I can only get so far here because it's also on fire. Every route 
across there to where there was a fire exit. Funnily enough, is on fire. And none of the doors are working. Because that's safe, isn't it? In the event of an accident, we'll have every keycarded door. Uh, what's it? Uh, it's not fail safe, it's the exact opposite of fail safe. Fail dangerous as hell. Well, now what? There's an exit right here, but I can't open it. I literally don't know where to go. Oh, okay. There we go. I have like a ton of these things already. Am I turning on fire suppression? Because I mean, I've. Things are still very much on fire. Oh, I need a hand wheel. Oh no, it fell off, didn't it? Um, can I use that one? I mean, it's literally coming off the system. Hang on, this door's open now. Mark, I'm stuck in this damn room. The door's stuck. I think the smoke's getting thicker. <coughs> Where are you? I can help you. I'm, I'm, I'm upstairs. Just, just leave me, okay? It's not the first time I've screwed up. I, I can handle this myself. You don't have to <coughs> risk your life for me. Are you sure? Yes, damn it. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Really? He thinks he can get himself out? Oh. Is he upstairs there? Or is he upstairs here? Or where is he upstairs? Does it mean this way? I mean, this guy's been an ass the whole way. He's been incompetent and he's made tons of mistakes. Does that mean he deserves to die? I... I don't think so. I'm here. I'm going to help you. Mark? <coughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Just press that vent button. It should be there on the wall. Fuck. It doesn't work. <coughs> of course it doesn't. Um Change some settings. Hi. Ports update. What the hell is this? <laughs> really? Again? <laughs> Damn it! Just unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn it. What was that? Boiler. Can't read the freaking writing because it's. <laughs> oh, this is just duplicate controls to what I had. Okay, what are these? Broken, temperature adjust, temperature mode, ventilation. I need to plug it back in. I got the control panel working. What do I do now? Good. Good. <coughs> Just turn on all those... Must must be off, all right? <coughs> then 
press that smoke vent button. <laughs> oh man, I am not feeling well. <laughs> Shit, are you okay, Robin? Come on. Come on, what does it need? <laughs> Okay, just turn the auto vent off and then just manually vent it. Is that venting or not? Seems to be. Don, Robin, are you there? Ah, yeah, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. Achievement I'm unlocks first responder. Damn door oh, good. I almost thought that. I'm okay. I'm okay. Look, Mark. Thank you for what you did. You, you saved my life. I just did what I had to do. I should get going. I have to get back to the office and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can go. You can go. I'll... Look, I'm gonna repay this somehow, Mark. I promise. Dude, I don't know how you possibly can. <laughs> Jesus Christ, am I gonna take any pictures? Yep, door's a bit broken. Apparently that's picture-worthy, despite all the other crap we've seen. Right, what now? Do we go down the uh, set of stairs we saw in here, these ones? Why are we going down to fire exit? Also, can I get the place working instead of blowing it up? I don't know. I'm tempted after all this to have a reload and try. Can't carry any more of these. Uh, in fact, I will save in slot four because I know slot three is our main one. Really, the fire exit down this tunnel? Kidding, right? Doesn't seem dangerous. Oh my god, how many locked fire exits are there? I still have nine packs of batteries left. That makes ten packs of camera batteries. So the best thing we're going to fall through here, I don't know. Oh, this is a lift. Shit. Shit. Not again. Oh, you're taking the piss. <laughs> oh, my God. Where the fuck are we now? It looks like a wild west mine. With orange mushrooms. We've had enough of green mushrooms to go for orangey yellow ones this time. Amber mushrooms or whatever. Oh, fuses. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of this broken lift that just nearly killed me. Yeah, I can if I get in the right position. God, okay, what have we got? More mini mines. Oh. Yeah, we'll just leave a load of dynamite unattended down here, that's fine. What's that? Can't actually see what that is. Oh, okay. Need fuses. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. <sighs> wow, okay, maybe that's the time to call it. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, I guess we're now trying to find out where to have a mine or something like that. I'll see you for that then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.